Well, boys, the uh, 2023 racing season is about to kick off. Springtime's officially here. And we're back out at our proving grounds out at Joe's Speedway. And we once again have a new layout. Joe, what we got going on up here? A lot of dozer work, a lot of, what is this crazy section we're standing in here? Uh, yeah, a lot of dozer work. Um, hey, you put me on the spot, you asked me questions. But yeah. yeah, we're trying to put some double jumps in here. As you just got done trying it, uh, we got to get you a little bit more air time. So we're gonna dig a little bit more of that out behind you and pile it up here. So everybody, sure it's a little bit safer for everybody. Slow yeah. some of you guys down too, because a lot of times these guys are hauling across that bottom. Yeah, and Joe's been listening to everybody's uh, suggestions and stuff over the last couple years. Look out, Wesco. He's taking it easy. But uh, Joe's been listening to everybody's suggestions and everything, and and uh, the track really wasn't all that racy you got a lot of single file in, in a lot of the classes so uh joe's just trying to make make the necessary changes and make the track funner for everybody to race on and of course a lot of the side by side guys including myself were wanting to get cars off the ground so um if you look over there by the flag stand everything from over there is pretty well going to stay the same if you come down to the bottom where the old tabletop was you're going to like dog leg in here a little quick chicane that puts you back out with almost uh no not quite a 180 but a pretty tight turn down there to start up the hill so that should slow everybody down and get everybody on the brakes and give faster cars a chance to uh to make a move on somebody or at least set somebody up and i think that's the main thing the track was lacking before you know yeah, what i mean or you can get yeah. them on the outside before and they got the inside yeah the inside might be bad because you're coming to that inside when you make the next turn and so then you get to the top of the hill and where you used to come down and make that off camera turn at the bottom. Now we have the track cut in up here at the top with, uh, like Joe said a minute ago, uh, what's gonna, gonna be like some double jumps up here. And for the first time this year, we're gonna run the track both ways, right? Yep. Both. Okay, so we're gonna run a, a heat one way and yep. a, the second heat the other way, sort of similar like Rolling Ranch does. Yep, cool. So we already took a couple laps and uh, there's still some work to be done on the jump, but that's what Joe wanted us to come out for was just to take a couple laps so he could see how how far the cars were getting off the ground. And right now they're really not, but they're gonna do some sculpting and shaping on these things and get them dialed in. But now we're gonna take a couple more laps. I got my GoPro on so everybody can see the new layout. And uh, I don't know if we're gonna come back. This uh, car over here, I think I might have a, a buyer for it. Really? Yeah, so might be the last time for it. I don't know. Wes said he'll come out and test any jump you got with the 800. That's right. So, <laughs> there you go. <laughs>
pretty wild both ways. Like, I gotta say that going this way, which would be backwards to what we're used to running, is probably my favorite way to run because that jump over there into that turn and then down over the hill is pretty sweet. Like, I like it a lot. And then this, uh, and then this, where this dog leg used to be coming this way is even more tricky to get in there than it was last time because if you were coming up the hill the, the way the track was before and you make that little dog leg you could you could overshoot that turn to the left to go up the hill and now it's backwards you're coming downhill now you can really blow that turn off like so it's even more tricky down there and like going around that bank and coming down the hill into that sharp turn is just like a pretty cool feature like I like I like it backwards it's gonna be fun running it you know both ways so I think everybody's gonna really it's definitely gonna be racy there's there's so many places to pass which I always said there was places to pass on this track anyways you just got to get up on the wheel and put turn your elbows up a little bit and you can find a way around somebody here but there's so many places you could set somebody up on this track configuration the way it is now so it's cool I like it Joe all right Sounds good. Yeah, it's good. I like it a lot. I'll make a few more adjustments, like in it's there. Fun. This I'll watch where he's laying and coming this way. And, yeah. yeah, it needs a bunch taken out of there. This, um, it feels like you're going 155 mile an hour through here. It's pretty, it's pretty crazy feeling. <laughs> it looks like it, especially when you does anybody, down your body. <laughs> does anybody want to go for a ride? I'll go with you. Yeah, I have to go up and get my helmet first. <laughs> So while Wes is out taking a couple laps in his old unit, uh, that's the 2023 Joe Speedway layout. It's going to be pretty wild. It's a pretty fun track. It's going to be very racy. Like I said, he's going to run it both ways. So that's going to make things really interesting. One heat one way, one heat the other way. That's going to be really fun. And um, yeah, looking forward to... Uh, some real good races out here, Joe's in uh, 2023. So that's going to do it for this video, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. If you haven't done so, please consider doing so. Go to the website, buy the merch. We'll see you next time. Later. I'm telling you, 800 class ain't ready. Wes is fired up.